My name is Glenda Hope, and I would say what I am on a large scale most passionate about is peace in the world. It never occurred to me that not everyone would think it was a good thing for me to be a pastor. In fact, one man challenged my effort to be ordained by saying I was upsetting the order of the universe, which I didn't really want to do, but since then I thought it's a good idea. Not the order of the universe, but his order of the universe. What became Network Ministries began in this room, praying together, sharing communion. And that grew to be five house churches. We wanted to preach and teach and enact God's inclusive love. Uh, Forty years later, I retired, uh, having been in the Tenderloin. Most of that time, somehow God drew me into that place and drew us into that place. Way after we became Network Ministries, we incorporated the safe house for homeless women escaping prostitution. In a three-month period, I performed memorial services on the street for prostituted women who had been murdered on the streets of San Francisco. So I went back to our board and said, we have to do something, and they said yes. The number one need was a safe place for them to live while they worked on changing. Four months later, we were given a building. In January of, of 1998, we opened it as the safe house for women escaping prostitution. I've seen these courageous women find their strength and their beauty and their wisdom and come to be able to affirm themselves as the daughters of God. And they've accepted me and they've let me be a part of their lives and they've become a part of mine. Special thanks to the woman who offered me a chance at a new life. Safe House will always and forever be a part of who I have become, and you're the one who made it possible. I mean, life doesn't get any better than that. Whoever would know that this little Southern Baptist girl growing up in Atlanta would be working with prostituted women in San Francisco. They are a part of a system that has abused and exploited and objectified and degraded women for centuries and around the world and still does. And yet, they also embody the resilient spirits of women who just know that they deserve respect and intend to get it. I don't want to just see women, younger women, become a part of the current system. We need to change the system. We don't need to just go up the corporate ladder. We need to change the corporations. We need more women like that. And they are out there. We just have to get people to look at them.